Well, this brings us to the conclusion of our course. And I want to, I want to conclude by telling a little parable. Jesus told parables, right, all the time. And so I want to just conclude with a parable. And this is the parable of the apple trees. Now, if you live where there's no apple trees, you might just change this parable to the parable of the mango trees. We do that sometimes depending on where you live. And you can, you can tell this story wherever you go. Uh, we tell it in our book if you want to get it in writing. But once upon a time, there was a village. And there were a lot of hungry people in this village. There wasn't enough food. And everybody was very concerned about this. And the apple trees of the village were especially concerned. They wanted to do what they could do to produce more food to help feed hungry people, especially the hungry children. And so each apple tree vowed they're going to try and grow more apples. And uh, there was one apple tree that was especially effective at this. This apple tree, he sunk his roots deeper. He grew his branches wider, sinuous, strong branches. And he learned how to grow the biggest, sweetest, juiciest apples and the most apples. He could produce way more apples than any other tree in this town. And he also learned a way that none of his apples would fall to the ground and rot. You didn't want that because you didn't want to waste any food, right? So he was becoming quite the apple tree. They, in fact, they came to give him a name. They called him Mega Tree. He was Mega Tree. And people were coming, other, other apple growers were coming from far and wide to learn how Mega Tree had learned to grow so strong and how Mega Tree had learned to produce so many sweet apples. He was quite the sensation. Now, there came a point where Megatree got so big, he just couldn't get any bigger. He just couldn't produce any more apples. That was a little frustrating for him because he was used to just always having more apples each year. But he just finally reached a point he couldn't do that anymore. In fact, he got so big and his branches were so heavy and so wide, one time a storm came through and it broke off one of his branches and he thought, oh no, now I'm not going to be able to produce even as much as I did last year. But he would grow back his branch and eventually he'd get his production up again. And so, you know, it wasn't quite as exciting as the early days. He didn't have quite as much joy, but he kept faithfully producing lots of apples and feeding a lot of people, more than any other tree. Well, there was another tree in town. Now this tree was just sort of a little skinny thing. Didn't look like much. Just sort of little branches and his apples weren't even that good. You know, they're kind of small and wormy every now and then. They had worms and, you know, he kind of felt pretty sorry for himself. You know, he'd, he'd look across the field, he'd see Megatree over there. He'd, Boy, I wish I, I wish I could do what Megatree does, but I just can't seem to do it. Um, maybe, it's, maybe it's my soil. My, my soil is not as good as his soil. That's, that's why I'm not, not producing like he is. If, but this little tree, uh, this, this tree, by the way, also had a name. They called this little tree Twiggy. This Twiggy. And Twiggy said to himself, you know, that's really not my soil. So he was feeling rather sorry for himself that he wasn't able to produce much. And one day he, he looked down at the ground right near his roots. He saw something. Something was growing. It was another little apple tree. Now Twiggy thought, oh no, this is the last thing I need. Another apple tree growing right next to me. This tree is going to use my lousy soil and get tangled with my roots and this tree is going to grow up and block my sunlight and I'm not going to be able to even produce as many apples as I do now. This is not a good thing. So sure enough that little baby tree grew up and started producing apples. And then suddenly Twiggy got a new thought. <laughs> 
And this thought hit him like a bolt of lightning. Now, I have to tell you, for a tree to get hit by a bolt of lightning, that's a pretty amazing thing. But he felt like all of a sudden, he thought, now wait a minute. Because one of my apples dropped down and the seeds of those apples started growing another tree, we're producing twice as many apples as I was before. And then he thought for a minute, he thought, now, what if I were to drop some more of my apples and their seeds were to grow into apple trees and then there'd be even three or four times as many apples growing as I could grow. Now, now Tw Twiggy was not very good at math, okay? He, he wasn't a real smart tree, but he said, wait a minute, if we keep doing that, what would happen if the, my baby trees dropped some of their apples and they started growing more trees? And Twiggy thought, well, by golly, if, if we just kept up with that, we'd be growing a lot more apples than megatree, a lot more apples. In fact, we could feed way more people. And though our apples may not be as big, they may not be as sweet, our trees may not be as big, we will feed more people. Now, people would be going on the road to visit Megatree to find out what his secret was. And they'd walk right by Twiggy and not pay any attention to Twi what Twiggy was doing. In fact, sometimes they'd walk by and they'd look at Twiggy and they'd make a face and say, why don't you learn from Megatree? Why don't, why don't you take a lesson from him? But Twiggy stayed with Twiggy's plan. And he dropped some of his apples. Some of those would grow into a tree. And some of his baby trees would drop their apples and he'd have grand sun apple trees. And before you knew it, there was a whole orchard of apple trees growing. And at that time, no one had to go hungry in the village ever again. TVS Seminary is a great way to invest in the Kingdom of God. Please consider making a donation to support this effective educational and outreach ministry today. We exist upon your gracious giving. Please donate to support TVS Project's continuation and growth. For more information, visit tvsseminary.com. What's the moral of the story? If you want to feed people and grow more apples, don't just grow bigger apple trees. Grow an orchard of apple trees. And if you want to feed a spiritually hungry world, don't just grow one big church. Although I like big churches. Big churches can feed a lot of people spiritually. Grow a movement of churches. And that happens when just ordinary churches are willing to release their people, to send them out to start new churches. And then those churches, ordinary churches, maybe small churches, they release and send out their people to start more churches. And I believe that's God's plan, how we can feed a spiritually hungry world. By preaching the gospel, by leading people to faith in Jesus Christ, by teaching them to obey all that he taught us, by teaching them to love their neighbor as themselves, in word and deed to become kingdom communities that are a sign, a foretaste, an instrument of God's kingdom, and to reproduce those among every people of the earth. And I hope that this class has been just one little extra tool in your workbox of what God's called you to do to help spread his kingdom. And so I'd like to just conclude our class with a prayer for you, for each of our students, for those who may be watching on the video course and commend what we've learned to the Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love for us.
for the gift of salvation in Jesus Christ, for the gospel which sheds light on your love and how we can know you and be saved and be transformed, and for the Holy Spirit who gives us the power to live lives pleasing to you and who pours out your love in our hearts. We pray, God, that you will help us to be faithful stewards of what you've given us, that we will be your instruments of peace and righteousness and justice and of your gospel in this world. And we know your plan is to work through a people. And in this day, your people is your church. We pray, God, that you will help us to not only strengthen churches that become genuine kingdom communities, but that those communities will reproduce, that we will be your instruments in seeing such communities planted and grow among every people of this earth. May you place your blessing on the things that we've learned these days. That which is of you, will you cause it to bear fruit and multiply to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.